changing my room. When I was a baby, I slept in a cot. It had big push-up sides. Willy slept there too. When I was bigger, I got a bed. My old cot was kept on the other side of my room. I liked it there. Willy liked it there too. One day I was busy building. Mummy said a new baby called Ben wanted to borrow my old cot. Tig, could baby Ben borrow your cot? Okay, I said. Thanks, Tig. Mummy was pleased. Daddy took his toolbox off to my bedroom. I could hear lots of bangs. Daddy was taking my old cot to bits. He took off one end, he took off the other end. Crash! Daddy shouted, bother. Mummy thought the crash is funny. Daddy clumped down the hall with the cot to bits. When I heard the clumping and clatters, I had a look. My old cot looked different, all squashed in bits. I wanted my old cot back in my room. So I hid a bit of the cot behind the armchair. Daddy clumped, clumped along the hall. Wait a minute. Daddy was fuddled. Who's moved the cot? I haven't touched it. Daddy saw the cot behind the armchair. Tig. I want it back in my room, I said. Daddy said my room was much better without the cot. Mummy said we can make my room all exciting. I said I wanted it the same. Hey, Tig. Change is scary, but you know what? Changes are fun too. Like changing your doll's clothes. Changing the colour of your shoes. Changing what you build with bricks. Whoop. I'm changing your face from grumpy to sad to happy. So go for it, Tig. Have some fun and change your room. Hey, and you'll make baby Ben happy too. He'll love your old cot. Yes, I thought. What's the fuss? Baby Ben can have the cot. There it is. Come on then, let's go and change your room around. And I can have fun changing my room around. <laughs> Mummy and me had fun moving things. Without the cot, we had loads of room. That's us all finished. What do you think of your room? Yes. Anyone see my toolbox? Daddy found Willy in his toolbox. Oh no, there's a spider in my toolbox! Who is it? Oh, it's only Willy. I like my room. And I like changing things. I love Willy. Here, Wash Day. One day, when I was little, my daddy came home early from work. Had a good day. It was nearly bath time, but Mummy said me and Daddy could play a little. OK, you two, there's time for a quick Come game before bath time. Is Willie going to play as well? Hide and seek, hide and seek, I said. Okay, right. Willie played too. First, okay. Daddy okay. head okay. first. No peeping, he said. One, two, I counted to ten, oh, no. but I couldn't oh. quite stop peeping. Nine, ten, where's your Here I go. I found 
and Daddy behind the sofa. Wooly's turn to hide, I said. Right, so six, seven. No eight, peeping. Nine, ten. Wooly was hiding under a cushion. Let's see, is he behind there? Daddy found Wooly. There you are. Now it is going to be your turn to hide. And me and Wooly are going to both close our eyes and we'll count to ten. OK, you ready? No peeking, Wooly. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Daddy and Wooly opened their eyes. The Wendy house. Are you in there, Tig? They looked for a long, long time. Anyone here? No. Bath's run. We'll just be a minute. Did you get the shampoo? Shampoo? I like to have my bath, but I hated having my hair washed. I crept into my little house and hid some more. There you go. Don't be too long. Tig! I think she's behind this curtain. Daddy couldn't find me. Well, she's not there. I didn't want my hair washed. I think she might be in our bedroom. Mummy and Daddy looked all around the house for me. Where's Tig? Well, she's not in the living room. Oh, dear. Found you, Tig! No wonder we couldn't find you. You moved tiding places. No hair wash. So that's it. You don't want your hair washed. Stingy. So close your eyes like in hide and seek. Eyes tight shut, no peeping, so nothing will get in your eyes. Then count to ten. One rubber dubber, two rubber dubber, three rubber dubber, four rubber dubber, five rubber dubber, six rubber dubber, seven rubber dubber, eight rubber dubber, nine rubber dubber, ten rubber dubber, ping, all done. No more stings. <laughs> hey, Tig, go get your hair scrumpled. <laughs> yeah, rubber dubber. I'm here, I shouted. I couldn't find you, said Daddy. Before the bath gets cold. Why did you go to wash Willie's hair as well? Bath time, said Mum. Mummy washed my hair. I closed my eyes tight. Cold. Like in hide and seek. I think it's too hot. But you can do it. One rubber dubber, two rubber dubber, three rubber dubber, four rubber dubber, five rubber dubber, six rubber dubber, seven rubber dubber, eight rubber dubber, nine rubber dubber, ten rubber dubber, and swish! When my hair was washed, there was a big splash. <gasps> and Mummy jumped. <gasps> Don't worry, Mummy. Oh, and my toy fire. Ah. Mummy dried my hair. Daddy dried Willy. I like having my hair washed. It's so wet. Oh. So does Willy. I love Wooly. Baby Ben. When I was little, a baby came to stay for the day. I was very excited. So was Wooly. And I made my little house ready to play. Look who it is. It's Baby Ben. I like Baby Ben. Do you have a little look for me underneath Baby Ben's buggy and see if you can find a toy for him to play with. Baby Ben came with lots and lots of things. Nappy. Nappies. Wet wipes. Wipes. Ooh. Clothes. Baby Ben didn't have many toys. Yeah, found it. Just a squeaky thing. <gasps> Look. I wanted to show Baby Ben my toys. Mummy said no. He's only a baby. No, he isn't. Can he come to tea in my little house? I said. Mummy, can Baby Ben have tea in my house? Well, no, because Baby Ben's just very little. 
No, said Mummy. I think it's time for Baby Ben's nap. Time for a nap, Baby Ben, said Mummy. Baby Ben isn't much fun. I waited for Baby Ben to go to sleep. When Baby Ben was asleep, I asked Mummy if she would like to come for tea. Mummy, why do you like to come and have tea? No, sorry, Tig. I've just got a few things to catch up on before Baby Ben wakes up. Mummy said no. Oh, I said I'd play with my car. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Shh, said Mummy. You wake Baby Ben. Mummy likes the baby more than me, I said to Wooly. I could be a baby too, just like Baby Ben. Tig, shh, he's sleeping. I wish Baby Ben would go away. Hello. Suddenly, Baby Ben woke up again. Oh, come on. Could you please move your toys? Mummy's grumpy, I said to Willy. Hey, Tig, Mummy's not grumpy. Mummy's just busy with Baby Ben. Come on, we'll give her a hand. Clean nappies, we'll need one of those. Baby wipes, we need them to make Baby Ben nice and clean all over. Clean clothes for Ben. <laughs> hey, Tig, and there's Ben's drinking bottle. Mummy will miss that. Off you go, Tig. Helping Mum's farm. Here, look what I found. Oh, thank you, Tig. Mummy was pleased. Mum, here, Mummy. Here's a nappy for Baby oh. Ben. Clever girl, and because you've been so good, you can help me change Baby Ben's nappy. Uh, yeah. Can I help Mummy change Baby Ben? <laughs> Mummy, I'm like, put the baby right Oh, you. thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mummy, here's, here's Baby Ben's trousers. Oh, that is so helpful. Thank you. We made them all nice and clean again. It's only my toy spider to be there. <laughs> I like helping Mummy. I like Baby Ben too. I love Willy. Oh, that's nice. Timmy's Monsters. When I was little, my friend Timmy came to play. Timmy can draw monsters. I can draw monsters too. But they're not as scary as Timmy's monsters. Timmy can roar like a monster. Roar! <laughs> I can roar like a monster too. <sighs> I like monsters. I like Timmy's monsters. Bulgy monsters. Hairy monsters. Blue monsters. <laughs> That's scary. And lots of red monsters. fun stomping and roaring. I think if the monsters were a little quieter, they might have some juice. I love monsters. When it was time for Timmy to go home, he gave me lots of his monsters. Thank you, Timmy. I love Timmy's monsters. And night, night, Tig. At night time, I put Timmy's monsters under my bed. At night, the monsters roared! Ra, ra, ra! All right. The monsters woke me up! Oh, there are no monsters. They're just pictures, look. Mummy said the monsters were just pictures. No more monsters. <laughs> Mummy took Timmy's monsters away. Will they want to be cuddle? Good girl. And left the light on. I cuddled Willie.
The next day, I wanted to play monsters. But Mummy had thrown the monsters in the bin. I asked Mummy for my monsters. Mummy, can I get my monsters? No, Tig, they're too noisy. Please. Mummy said the monsters were too noisy. They're just pictures, I said. Mummy said, OK. But no more rowing tonight in bed. I showed Willie my monsters. I didn't think Willie liked my monsters. No, Tig, I just don't like monsters at night. They wake me up. They wake us all up. Hmm. So, Tig, why don't we make your monsters just daytime monsters? Yeah! <laughs> there, one daytime monster. Now, at night, all the monsters need to go to bed. So we make the monster a nice comfy bed. <laughs> One comfy bed and one monster asleep. Night, night, monster. Sleep well. Night time came and all the monsters were put to bed. Night, night, monsters. Look. Night, night, monsters. There they are, all going to bed, all tucked up, ready to sleep. Mummy was about to sit on the bed when she nearly sat on Wooly. It gave her a surprise. What was that? <laughs> I'm a toy spider. You're a toy spider. Night, night, Mummy. Night, night, Wooly. That night we all slept happily. I like my daytime monsters. I love Wooly. Sharing. When I was little, my friend Angel came to play. I like playing with Angel. She's fun. See you later. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. We played people. We played sliding. We played jumping on the cushions. Wee! I liked playing with Angel. She makes me laugh. Why don't you go and show Angel your room? Mummy said, Tig, why don't you show Angel your toys? I showed Angel all my toys. The orange came on fire. <laughs> I'm making soup. That's um, that's in the soup for baby's bowl. I didn't like Angel holding my doll. It wasn't Angel's doll. It was my doll. I didn't want Angel to play with my toys anymore. I put Willie to bed. I put all my toys in my little house. I want toys! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! We shouted, shouted, shouted! Shush! What's going on? I want to go home. Oh, of course you can, Angel. Let's go and ring your mum. Oh dear, said Mummy. That's sad you're going home so soon, Angel. Did Tig not want to share her toys? No. No, oh dear. And they went to ring Angel's Mummy. Oh dear. Hey Tig, it can be a bit funny seeing someone play with your toys. But Angel's your friend. Now she's gone. Whee! Hey, Tig, that's a big jumble of toys in there. That'll take some sorting. Shame there's no one to help. The good thing about sharing your toys 
is that your toys can suddenly become new and fun again. Maybe if you say a big, big sorry to Angel, she'll come back and play and you can have fun with your toys again. I didn't want Angel to go. She was my friend. I said sorry to Angel. Angel, I'm sorry. In a big, big way. I gave Angel Wooly to play with. <laughs> Angel said she would stay. Angel had Wooly under Mummy's work. Here's a candy My toy spider, I said. I like playing with Angel. We played and I shared my toys. <laughs> They're like new toys again. I love Wooly. Losing things. When I was little, Daddy and Mummy took me to the jungle house. I wore my favourite wild animal clothes. My tiger woolly hat, monkey gloves and hissy snake scar. Willie came too. I was very cold going to the jungle house. Inside the jungle house, the jungle was very hot. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's so warm in here. Look, look at all the glass. The jungle house was made of glass. There was a big palm tree in a pond with fishes. Tell you what, I think we need something to keep us going on our trek through the jungle. Mummy gave me some raisins. We saw a lady with no clothes. She is made of marble. Daddy said she was marbles. She didn't look like a marble to me. Oh Daddy said the middle of the jungle smelt like fried socks. My head itched. Willie, where are you? Willie kept hiding in the trees. Daddy said, careful not to lose Willie. I told Willie not to climb any more trees. <laughs> When we left the jungle house, it was cold again. We walked back through the park. After a bit, I got so cold I couldn't walk. Where are your gloves? Where's your hat? Where's your scarf? Oh, no. Where's your hat, said Daddy. Well, let's get a scarf around you. Let's get you nice and warm. Where's your gloves, said Mummy. And where's your scarf? I don't know, I said. Back in the house, it was nice and warm. I was sad. I'd lost my favourite clothes. Teg, I'm so sad that you lost your hat and your gloves and your scarf. Such a shame. Daddy made me feel more sad. Hey, Teg, I know how you feel. Losing things makes me feel sad too. Hey, Teg, maybe we could find your lost things. Take a deep breath and think back just to where you might have left things. First, we went to the jungle house. It was very hot. We looked at the fishes in the pond with the big palm tree. You took your monkey gloves off to eat the raisins. Then we saw the lady with no clothes. You took off your hissy snake scarf. In the middle of the jungle, it smelled like fried socks. Your head itched and you took off your tiger hat. There, you see. Now you can remember where you left everything. I thought very hard. I remembered everything. Mum, I got my hat In the jungle house. Really? I told Mummy and Daddy where my things were. Should I go back and get them? Daddy went back to the jungle house. He found my monkey gloves by the palm in the pond. 
My scar by the lady with no clothes. My tiger hat in the middle of the jungle. Smelt of fried socks. And Daddy told us how he found everything. Well, I found the hat, the scarf, mm -hmm. uh, and I also found the gloves. And it was because Tech knew where they were. <laughs> Daddy jumped. It's only my toy spider, I said. I'm glad I never lost Willy. I love Willy. Open wide. When I was little, my mummy took me to see the dentist. Willy came too. I made sure my teeth were really clean. Do you like going to the dentist? Yeah. yeah. Mummy said it was fun and the dentist was going to count my teeth. At the dentist, a nice lady sat behind a big desk. Hello, Tig, said the lady. That's the suckers that we've got, Tig. The lady said I would get a badge for having my teeth counted. We had to wait for the dentist. Lots of people were sitting on chairs. We sat next to a giggly lady. Can you show me how you brush your teeth? I showed the giggly lady how I cleaned my teeth. Very good indeed. Oh, that's good. Mrs Kraken, do you want to come through? A lady asked Mrs Giggly, Come this way, please. Bye-bye, Mrs Giggly. Bye. One, two, three. In the corner of the room was a play shop. Me and some children played play shop. Hi. I did lots of counting. Hi, Tig, it's your turn now. I like the dentist. Her name was Rita. I've got some juice here that you need to gargle around your mouth and you spit in the bowl. So that washes your tooth and that dries your tooth. Rita showed me lots and lots of things. Things I'd never seen before. There's a slur. Pea sucker, a water shooter, oh, sunglasses, a polisher. It's a special, special fast electric toothbrush. Is that good? But best of all was the chair. And then right up into the sky. The chair could go up and down and back and forward like a ride at the fun fair. Right, I'm going to count your teeth now. This is my tooth counter for counting your teeth. Open wide. Please. I shut my mouth. I didn't like the tooth counter. In a minute, she said. Rita chattered and clattered. Hey, Tig. There's nothing wrong with the tooth counter. It's just a magic wand to help Rita with her counting. You'll never know how many teeth you have until you open your mouth. Opening your mouth is as easy as yawning. <sighs> Opening your mouth is as easy as eating a plum. Opening your mouth is as easy as laughing. Ha 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 ha! Ah ah ah! I'm just going to put my visor on. Okay, Tig. Open wide for me and we can count these teeth. Open wide, said Rita. Open wide. Rita counted my teeth with her magic Whee! wand. 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. You've got 20 teeth in there. <gasps> it's only a toy spider. Are you all done? She was very brave. The lady at the desk gave me my badge. And Willie have a stick? Of course he can. Oh, there you go. Well done. I wanted a badge for Willie too. I like the dentist. Willie likes the dentist too. I love Willie. Am I trying to work for me? 
swing park. When I was little, my daddy took me to the swing park. Oh, we dropped Wooly. Wooly came too. On the way, daddy kicks a ball. Oh, oh you got it! I kicked the ball too. <laughs> Playground, we ran around looking at all the things we could play on. The slide was very tall. Three, two, one, take it, Wooly! Yeah! <laughs> I bounced on the springy seesaw. Daddy bounced on the springy seesaw too. Daddy and me jumped on the trampoline. Wooly jumped too. Night, night. I swung round and round in a basket. Lullaby baby. Daddy swung in the basket too. Ah, oh, what shall I do? I swung in the ropes. Daddy showed me what to do. Daddy was so funny, he hung upside down. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's parts for children, you know. Oh, sorry. A man with a dog told Daddy that the playground was for children. Daddy said sorry. After the man with the dog, Daddy didn't do funny things. <laughs> then Daddy pointed. There's Angel, he said. Who's that over there on the seesaw? Angel! That's your friend! It was my friend Angel! Yeah! But then I saw Angel was playing with some other children! I didn't know them! I wanted angels to play with me! Daddy said I should go and ask to join in. No, I said. I felt left out. Angel was playing with new friends and not me. Hey Tig, you've always got me to play with. Watch me. to join in your game. And your game is sliding Wooly down the slide. OK! Whee! Yeah! I said, grabbed Wooly. Hello, I said to Angel. Come and see Wooly slide down the slide. Yeah, said Angel. We all slid Wooly down the slide. Whee! Then we all ran off together to pull the bell ropes. Bang, bang, ting, well. Daddy found Willy. Ah! It's only my toy spider, I said. I love playing with my new friends. I love Willy. Come on, let's go. <laughs> dance class. Are you excited about going to your dance class? Come on then. When I was little, my daddy took me to my dancing class. I'd never been to dance class before. You're going to the ballet class. Mummy bought me special clothes to wear. My dancing dress was pink. My dancing shoes were pink and soft. You look like a fairy tale princess. Right, let's go do the ballet class, come on. Off we went to the dancing class. Willie came too. Daddy took me to a big, big room. You're going to have fun, Tig. There you go, bye. See you later. OK. For those of you that are new, my name is Miss Lottie. 
and I hope you're going to try really hard to enjoy your dance classes and listen to everything that I say. Everybody spread out. That's Miss it. Lothy shouted. Oh, Music! Right Music please, Mr Tonka. Mr Honky played the piano. We're going to be trees, OK? So Miss Lotty shouted, trees! Stretch up towards the ceiling. All right, and leaves. Miss Lotty shouted, leaves. Here and there. OK, lambs. Now I want you to skip around like baby lamb. Miss Lotty shouted, skip! Nothing. I didn't like Miss Lotty shouting. Lambs. I didn't like Miss Lotty at all. Me and Willie sat beside Mr. Honky and his piano. I didn't like dancing class. Hey Tig, I want to join in the dancing too. Come on! I don't like the shouted lady. Yes, you're right. When teachers shout, it does seem a bit scary. But Miss Lottie isn't shouting at you, Tig. She's shouting so we can all hear her. Whee! Miss Lottie sounds loud when you're close to her. All right, everybody, we're going to be frogs. Hey, Tig, did you hear that? She wants us to be frogs. I love being a frog. Hey, Tig, look at me being a frog. And crouch, and hop, and crouch, and hop. Ribbit, ribbit. Legs up into the air. Bicycle time. And pedal. Pedal? Pedal, 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 whee! Horses, right gallop and tri Hey Tig, she wants us to be horses! Click, clop, click, clop, click, clop, trot, 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 trot. Yeehaw! Phew, Tig, that was so much fun. I'm pooped. Your turn. But the shouting! Tig, Miss Lottie has to shout so you can hear what to do above the music. Then I thought, Mr Honky's piano is very loud and I don't mind that. Whee! To the side. So I don't mind Miss Lottie shouting. I joined in. I had such fun. I galloped. I was a snowflake. Now flap your arms and feet. A butterfly. I did kitty cat crawls. I skipped. At the end of the lesson. And stop. Miss Lottie said that I was going to wear the crown. I'd like to present this lovely crown to Tig. Today was Tig's first day. And became a fairy princess. Princess Tig. Lovely. I like Miss Lottie. I like dancing too. And I love Will. Take, take, the fun take, fair. Take, take. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Angel to a fun fair. Willie came too. Inside it was very, very big. Inside it was very, very noisy. I've never been to a fun fair before. Angel liked the fun fair. Angel was excited. Light flashed! Roundabouts went round and round. Chairs flew up in the air. People were bounced up and down. Noises came from everywhere. Right, girls, what ride do you want to go on first? Angel wanted to ride on everything. Who wants to go on the alligators? shouted Angel. Mummy took Angel on the alligator. I watched with Daddy. The alligator whooshed out and whooshed. Angel squealed. Angel loved the alligator. 
It was very, very noisy. Who was riding the Dodgems? said Mummy. Me, shouted Angel. I didn't want to ride in the Dodgems. They were too noisy. Mummy took Angel on the Dodgems. The music went boom, boom, boom. The Dodgems bumped and bashed. I don't like the Dodgems. Angel loved the Dodgems. Angel wanted to go on the teacups next. You want to go home, Tig? I know. Let's go and wait in the cafe for Mum and Angel. Daddy took me to a little cafe. There's your juice, Tig. I wanted to go home. Hey, Tig, Funfairs are noisy. Funfairs worry me too. I never know where the noises are coming from. Music, squeals, whizzing and whirls. I never know which way to look next. Hey, Tig, fun fairs are fun places and you can have fun here too. I like to know where all the different noises are coming from. Doof, doof, doof. <laughs> look, that's the rock and roll music from the Dodgems. Wee, woohoo! from the flying chairs. Honk, honk, ting, ting, dilly, dip, beep, bop, beep, bop, zob, zob, ding, ding, wee, wee. That's the little roundabout. <laughs> the glittery, clattery noises is the cup and saucer. Hey, Angel's having fun. That dancing music is from... The carousel roundabout with the horses. So now you know where the noises come from. Have fun. What's first? Doof, doof, honk, honk, diddly ding, woo, woo. Now I knew what all the noises were, I want to have fun. Can I go on the roundabout, Daddy? Honk, honk. I went on the honk, honk roundabout with Angel. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. We went on lots more rides, but best of all was the carousel. When the man saw Wooly, he said, Oh! He's only my toy spider, I said. And off we went. I like riding on the carousel. I like the fun fair. I love Wooly. The cloud. When I was little, my mummy took me to a big, big shopping centre. Willie came too. Mummy gave me some money. Well, let's see what I've got in my hand. <gasps> Choose something to buy, she said. A shiny penny, so you can spend that on something. There were lots and lots of shops in the shopping centre. I didn't know what to choose. Let's not spend it too quickly though. Let's see what else we can see. In the shopping centre, oh, there was a lady this. painting faces. She painted a little boy to look like a cat. Mummy said, why not spend your money on a painty face? No. no, I said. I didn't want to look like a cat. High above all the people rushing, I saw balloons. There we go. I want to buy a balloon, I said. Bye. Let's go and find them, said Mummy. <gasps> oh, look, Tig! A man was holding the balloons. Isn't he funny, said Mummy. He's a clown. I didn't think the clown was funny. The clown was scary. He had a big rubbery face and a red nose. I didn't like the scary clown. I want to go home, I said. Come on, said Mummy. Let's have something to eat. Whee! I like the cafe. There was no clown. Mummy bought me fish fingers. Mm. Would you like some ketchup? I had tomato sauce. 
down below I saw the clown. The clown looked up and waved. I don't like clowns. Hey Tig, you don't have to like clowns. Clowns are just people with painty faces. Anybody can be a clown. You could be a clown. I could be a clown. Some people think clowns are scary. Some people think clowns are funny. <laughs> Look, that painty faced clown is making everyone laugh. Hey Tig, why don't you be a painty faced clown and make everyone laugh too? Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I want to be a painty faced clown too. Let's go. I finished my fish fingers. I asked Mummy if I could give my money to the face painting lady. The face painting lady painted my face like a clown. You're a very funny clown. Thank you very much. Mummy laughed and everyone laughed when they saw me looking like a painty faced clown. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the clown. He wasn't scary. He looked just like me. The clown gave me a balloon. When the clown saw Willy, he was scared. He's only my toy spider, I said. I like clowns. I love Willy. Did you like it? Eating new foods. When I was little, my daddy had a birthday. I gave daddy a birthday cake hat. It's my birthday! Daddy looked funny. We had a surprise. Mummy took us to a restaurant. Willie came too. Inside the restaurant, there were lots and lots of tables. Mummy told Daddy to take his hat off. A grumpy man came along and told us to sit down. Menu for you. Mummy said the grumpy man was a waiter. Daddy was excited and did funny things. <laughs> stop it, just stop it, sit up and behave. Mummy told him to behave and sit up straight. So, ready to order? I wanted fish fingers. Fish fingers. <laughs> there were no fish fingers. Yes. I think I might have the spaghetti. Daddy said I might like spaghetti. You too? Okay, thank you. Thank you. I saw a little boy. The little boy disappeared. I looked under the tables and saw the little boy crawling towards me. Crash! The grumpy waiter tripped. You shouldn't crawl around in restaurants, said Mummy. Mummy gave me a colouring book to colour in. The grumpy waiter landed our spaghetti plates on the table like aeroplanes. Then he sprinkled pepper with a giant pepper pot. Let's get stuck in. I looked at the spaghetti. It was all long and wriggly with green and black bits. Mum said just to try a little bit. I ate a black bit. Yuck! Like you ate an olive, said Daddy. I love olives. Daddy took away all the olives. Take this one. Oh, I got it. Try another bit, said Mummy. I wanted fish fingers. Hey, Tig. Not liking things is okay. So now you know what you don't like. 
Yuck. Find out what you do like. Mmm. I like spaghetti because it's fun and wriggly and yum in my tum. <laughs> hey, Tig, your dad's got rid of the yucky taste, so have another go. Or I'll eat it all up for you. Mmm. Go for it, Tig. Tuck in. So I thought, I'll have another go. Oh, look at that big bit. <laughs> That's brilliant. What a good girl. Oh, well, you're loving it, aren't you? When I finished, the grumpy waiter took my plate away. That's on your toy spider. Then the waiter came back. With Daddy's birthday pudding. Look at that. This is the best birthday cake I've ever had. I really like it. I like new food. You like that? So does Willie. Yeah, he likes it. Mm, he loved it. <laughs> I love Willie. The party. When I was little, I went to a party with my mummy and daddy. Happy birthday, Timmy. <gasps> Don't forget Willie. Willie came too. The party was for Timmy's birthday. Angel! My friend Angel was there too. And there were lots of children. The party was in a big room. <laughs> there was a funny man called Josh. Good afternoon, boys and girls. My name's Josh, and I... Josh had a flower that squirted water. <laughs> We're going to do the hokey cokey. Josh showed us how to do the hokey cokey. We all joined in. You do the hokey cokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Pin the tail on the donkey. Pin the tail on the donkey. And Mummy tied the scarf so we couldn't see. I pinned the tail on the donkey's nose. Everybody laughed. It was funny. A big boy was clever. He pinned the tail just where it should be. Well done! Josh had a hooty horn. OK, musical chairs. Let's go. Go! We played musical chairs. On you go! Oh, oh my goodness! There we go! Oh, take, take oh, oh, hard luck! Touchy, touchy! Hey! We've got a winner! Well A big boy won! Time for juggling! Josh juggled Sweetie Packets! Oh. I like Josh. When he draw one, he gave the packet to me. <laughs> Daddy made a big parcel for pass the parcel. When the music stops, you open the parcel up. When the music stopped, the parcel stopped and was unwrapped. The parcel never stopped at me. I never won any presents. Oh, Sophie! I didn't like the party. I didn't like never winning. Right, everybody, time for birthday cake. Come on. I didn't go for tea. Come on, Tig. You're going to miss the birthday tea. Come on. Hey, Tig, look at this. Where will the button go? Where's the button gone? There! Yeah! Well done, Tig. Winning feels good. That's why it's fun to win. But, Tig, in party games there's often only one winner. 
So that means you lose more times than you win. Not everyone can win all the time. It's fun that others win too, and fun just playing the game. Angel hasn't won, but she's having fun. Josh hasn't won, but he's having fun. You haven't won, but you had fun pinning the towel on the donkey's nose. Hey Tig, parties are full of surprises. Join in and find the next fun surprise. I wanted more surprises and ran for tea. <laughs> I helped Timmy blow out his candles. I saw Josh Willie. <laughs> it's only a toy spider. He's only my toy spider, I said. I like parties. I love Willy. First day. Right. When I was little, I loved going to my nursery school. Mm. Willy liked my nursery school too. At my nursery school, I had my own place to put my coat. My nursery teacher is called Claire. I like Claire. Sometimes I play by myself. Sometimes I play with the other children. Sometimes I'm so busy playing that I have to give Willie to my teacher, Claire. Claire always puts Willie somewhere where he can watch me playing on the messy table. Doing my writing. Playing with the sand. Having fun with water. One day, a new little boy came to my nursery. Everybody, this is Rufus. Claire told us the new boy's name was Rufus. Rufus didn't seem very happy. Rufus didn't want to play. Claire gave Rufus some toys. Rufus just looked. When we went out to play, Rufus stayed inside. At story time, Rufus sat by himself. He didn't want to sit with me. There once was a fluffy yellow chick called Charlie. Charlie. Claire told us the story of Charlie Chick. Charlie loved his mummy, and he loved cuddling up underneath her warm, feathery tummy. I like the bit when Charlie Chick is frightened of the outside world. Till he hears the chirps of the other chicks. We all chirp like Charlie. Rufus seems sad. Rufus made me sad. I'm cross too. What was wrong with Rufus? Hey Tig, there's nothing wrong with Rufus. He doesn't mean to make you sad and cross. Rufus feels just like Charlie Chick. Chip, chip. Rufus has left the nice warm feathers of his home and come out to a new strange place. Now you know all the other children, but Rufus doesn't. You know the games, but Rufus doesn't. You know Miss Claire, but Rufus doesn't. Rufus feels lonely and Rufus feels sad. When you first came to nursery school, you had me. So if Rufus had me to help him for his first day, maybe he'd feel happier. Hey Tig, we'll make you feel happier too. Go for it. Yes, I thought. I'll give Rufus Willie for the day. Rufus likes Willie. 
and we went outside to play together. The next day, Rufus came to the nursery with a teddy called Ed. Rufus was happy with Ed. When Ed saw Willy, he was scared. It's only my toy spider, I said. Rufus likes nursery school now. I love Willy! Fire alarm. When I was little, something exciting happened at my nursery school. It was nearly break time. I was helping Miss Claire. Willy helped too. There was a loud, loud noise. Come on, everyone, it's the fire alarm. Come on. Claire said it was the fire alarm. Come on, everyone, well done. I didn't like the horrid noise. Come on. It hurt my ears. Come along. We all need to leave, said Claire. Good, I thought, away from the nasty noise. Claire made sure we were all safe outside together. Be ba, be ba. A fire engine came round the corner. I liked the fire engine. The firefighters jumped out. They ran into the nursery. The firefighters wore hats. Don't worry, said Claire. The firefighters are just checking to see if there's a fire. Is everything OK? Yeah, nothing to worry about. The firefighter said, no fire, no worries. The firefighters didn't have a fire to put out. They showed us their fire engine. I like the firefighters. That's it. There you go. Wave bye bye to the firefighters. Bye bye, firefighters. There wasn't that exciting, said Claire. Come on. When we went back inside, everything looked just the same. We had our break. After break, I didn't want a story. I didn't want to hear that nasty noise again. Yeah? Let's go. I asked Claire if I could go home. I didn't like the fire alarm. Hey Tig, fire alarms may sound scary, but fire alarms have to be loud so that everyone can hear them. Whee! They make all sorts of funny noises too. Dring! Woo 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 woo! Beep 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 beep! But fire alarms aren't there to worry us, they're there to make us safe. When the fire alarm sounds, it tells us to leave the building because there might be a fire. It also tells us it's working properly. Hooray! But hey, they don't go off that much. Dring! But when they do go off, we all have to leave the nursery together. So nothing to worry about. If the fire alarm sounds, you know what to do. Listen to that, Tig. More funny noises. Someone's playing fire engines. Whee! Go and have fun. Yes, I thought. Nothing to worry about. I want to play fire engines too. Beep ba beep ba. We ran about being fire engines. Beep ba beep ba. My fire engine was going so fast that Willie flew off in the air. And on your toy spider. I don't mind fire alarms. I like fire engines. I love Willie. The beard. When I was little, I went to play with my friend Belle. Hello, how are you? Willie came too. 
Belle's house was big. There were lots and lots of rooms. We went exploring. There was a staircase to go up and down. There was a garden too. We saw Belle's big sister, Ruby. Ruby jumped on the trampoline. Belle showed me lots of places to hide and jump out. Then we played hide and jump out. Belle had a little brother called Finny. I played cards with Finny. Belle had a mummy called Anne. Anne was kind. She gave us a drink and a biscuit. <coughs> Belle had a big sister called Lottie. Lottie had funny clothes. Some fancy shoes. Me and Belle dressed up. Are you trying on my clothes? Lottie laughed. <laughs> Mummy came to take me home. No, I said. No. And I ran away with Belle and Willie to hide. Anne said to Mummy I could stay for lunch. Okay, have all the time. Bye. Bye. Hooray! Yay! I like being at Belle's house. The boys are not always a pig. Look at this, boys and girls. History's never always the way you think it's going to be. At lunchtime, Anne made an apple pie. A bit more? Belle said apple pie was her favourite. You do? I said apple pie was my favourite too. Oh dear, said Anne. Daddy's going to miss the apple pie. Tell me you think it's nice. Oh, I thought. I didn't know Daddy was coming to lunch. Daddy's home. Hi guys. Hello, Tink. A man came and sat at the table. The man didn't look like a daddy. The man had hair all over his face. Ooh, apple pie. Special treat because Tink's here. Mm. The man looked like a bear. I didn't like Belle's daddy. I didn't like my apple pie. I wanted to go home. Hey, Tink, not all daddies look like your daddy. This daddy looks different. This daddy has a beard. This daddy's not fierce, he's just a bit hairy like a big friendly teddy bear. He doesn't look like a friendly teddy bear. Then just imagine he is a big friendly teddy bear. Look at him, blink, and ting, he's a big friendly teddy bear. I looked, blinked and ting, Belle's daddy was a big friendly teddy. Then I thought, how could Belle's daddy eat his apple pie if he's only a teddy? Poor Belle's daddy. So I looked, blinked, and ting! Hooray! The teddy was Belle's daddy again. There you see, Tig. Belle's daddy is just like a big friendly teddy bear. So eat up your apple pie. No more worries. I think it's really, really nice. After lunch, when Belle's daddy saw Willie, no. he was scared. It's only a toy spider. A toy spider. Thank you so much. When Mummy collected me, I told her all about Belle's dad having a beard. I like going to play with Belle. I love Willie. Splash! When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me swimming at the swimming pool. Right, let's go and get changed. Oh, I know, God. why don't I take Willie? Because we don't want him to get all wet, do we? Mummy took Willie to watch. Daddy took me into a big room. Daddy helped me put on my swimming costume. Come on, take Let's go to the pool. He's excited. What's that? You go and have a shower. We had to have a shower. The shower was like the rain. I squealed. 
The pool was very, very big. There was lots of water. The water went on forever and ever and nearly out of the window. Wooly and Mummy sat in chairs. Mummy waved. I waved to Mummy. Say hi, Wooly. A man splashed up and down the pool like a big sea lion. I held Daddy's hand. We saw some children. The children were splashing. Daddy put on my armbands. A lady splashed with her legs. I didn't like the splashing. I want to go and sit on the chairs with Mummy. I don't want to go swimming. Okay, well, don't Mummy said, why don't I take Teg to the little pool? Mummy took me to the little pool. Wooly came to. Here you go, Teg, look. There, Teg. Why don't you have a splash around? I don't like splashing, I said. Hey, Teg. A swimming pool might seem big and strange and full of sudden splashes, but a swimming pool is just like a big, big bath. You like a bath, don't you? So make it like bath time. You like playing boats in the bath, don't you, Tig? So have fun with this boat. There she blows! Hey, Tig. Now you can kneel in the water, it's much more fun. Here's another swimming game. Find the frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Water in your mouth, spit it out. Well done, Tig, you found the frog. Looks like you got your face wet too. Bounce the ball up and down as hard as you can and see how many splashes you can make. So now you know, water and splashing is fun. So go for it, Tig. Have a splash with Daddy in the big pool. Yes, I thought. I like the splashing. I wanted to swim in the big pool with Daddy. Oh. I like the big pool. I like the splashing. <laughs> I like the water all over my face. The big sea lion man saw Willie. <laughs> It's only my toy spider, I said. <laughs> I love splashes. I love swimming. I love Willy. The painting day. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Angel to a painting day. Willy came too. Are you having fun, Angel? I was excited. I liked painting. We painted lots. That is such a good picture. Do you need to go to the toilet, Tig? No, I said. I wanted to paint. Angel looked funny. She got paint on her nose. Your nose! Let me clean your nose. Let me see. And then I thought, I do want to go to the toilet. Hey, girls, come and have a look at what I've seen over here. Come on. But Mummy said, come and look at this. There was a man doing pictures of people. I'll hold Willie. The man did a picture of me and Angel. We had to sit very still. But I wanted to go to the toilet. Take, are you okay there? Do you need the toilet? No, I said. I was too excited about the man's picture. That's Angel. The man was very clever. Yes, yes, please. He made Angel and me look real. 
girls, come with me. We just see that. Daddy said, come and look at this, Tig. I was so excited. I was hoping. Oh, I think you need the toy yeah, I so. No, I said. I wanted to see the funny picture. Funny. A lady was going to stick our pictures on a wall. I jumped up and down. Are you sure you don't need the toilet? Yes! Do you want to go to the toilet? Mm, yes, I said. The toilets were big. There were lots of doors. Lots of basins. Oh! Wind machines? No. No what? I didn't like the toilets. I sat next to Angel and waited for the lady to stick up our paintings. I didn't want to go to the new, big, smelly toilet. Hey, Tig, you're right. You have to be happy going to the toilet. Sometimes new is strange, but you might find you like this new strange toilet more than you think. You just need to give it a go. It might smell funny, but that's because there are lots of different smelly things to clean toilets. It might have lots of doors, but that's because there are lots of toilets to choose from. It might have lots of basins, but that's because there are lots of hands to wash. Woo! It might have noisy dryer machines, but that can be fun too. Woo! They're just like a hairdryer stuck on the wall. In the end, we all need to go to the toilet wherever it is. And we all have to flush it before we leave. Whoosh! Unless it flushes itself, and that's even more fun! Whoosh! Oops! So go for it, Tig! Have fun exploring the new toilet! Yes, I thought. I wanted to go to the new big toilet. After the toilet, I washed my hands with lovely smelly squirty soap. Then I dried my hands with a hand dryer. The lady stuck up her pictures. When the lady saw Willie's picture, she got a fright. Oh, what? I'm on the spider! I love Willie. Museum of Imagination. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Timmy to a museum. Willie came too. There were lots of things to look at. Everything was old. Some of the old things were shiny. I could see my face. The shiny things looked new. But Timmy said the shiny things were old. That car might be very shiny, but it's very old. Timmy knew lots of things. Timmy showed me cars in a traffic jam. Those cars are in a traffic jam and the lights turn green, vroom, off they go. Timmy said, when the lights turn green, the cars will drive away up the wall. Vroom, <laughs> off they go. I waited for the cars to go. Beep, beep. But they didn't. <laughs> Timmy showed me bicycles on the ceiling. Timmy said the bicycles were in a race. There's a bicycle race up there. They're going to race round and round. Whee! I waited for the race to start. But it didn't. There were some big steam engines. The wheels were taller than me. Timmy showed me how to shovel coal to make the fire in the engine. Timmy showed me a flying train. That train's going to take off and fly around the room. Timmy said the train will blow its whistle and fly around the room. Woo! I waited for the train to fly, but it didn't. Outside there was a big boat. Timmy got very excited. That's a really old sail trip. Timmy told me 
The big boat was an old sailing ship. That sailing ship's full of pirates. What's pirates, I said. Pirates have patches, they wave swords, they jump, tumble and they sail on big ships. Ha <laughs> ha! Why don't Tig and I go and do something else and you two go on the ship? I didn't want to go on the old ship. It was scary. Me and Mummy drew pictures. Timmy and Daddy had fun on the sailing ship. Hey Tig, Timmy knows lots of things, but Timmy doesn't know everything. Nobody does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But sometimes Timmy can make things sound a lot more exciting than they really are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Timmy has a big, big imagination and that's fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the cars won't really drive off up the wall. The bicycles won't really race round and round the ceiling and trains don't fly. <laughs> Timmy looked at the big old sailing ship and imagined pirates sailing the ocean. But any pirates would have left a long, long time ago. <laughs> so go for it, Tig, and have fun on the old sailing ship. Hey, and Tig, no worries, the ship won't sail away. Only in Timmy's imagination. Yes, I thought. Mummy, can I go on the sailing ship now? I want to see what it's like on the old sailing ship. So I went on the ship. The only pirates on the sailing ship were Timmy and me. Timmy's pirate was a scaredy pirate. He ran away from Wooly. <laughs> I like the old ship. I like Timmy's imagination. I love Willy. Granny, no, no. When I was little, my daddy took me to see my granny. Willy came too. I love my granny. Come on, let's go. What will we have? Have some tea, will we? Granny and daddy had a cup of tea. Granny is daddy's mummy. That's funny. Can you tell me a story about Daddy? I asked Granny to tell me the story about when Daddy was little. I think we'll wait until Daddy's gone. No, said Granny, later. You be a good girl for Granny when Daddy's away. I wanted to help Granny, so I took Daddy's cup of tea away for her. Oh, no, sweetheart, just leave that because let Granny... No, said Granny, be careful. Granny will take you. Granny said no a lot. Yes. Dad's going to go away. Mm. You bet. When go. Daddy left, I had my Granny to myself. See you later. I like having Tig here. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Granny told me the story about how Daddy made a mud pie. Yeah. As a mud pie, the mud pie. Well, he was carrying a great big tin full of mud, he said. I've made you a mud pie. This is for you, Mummy, and for Jean. <laughs> I wanted to make a mud pie too. I wanted to make Granny laugh like Daddy. I looked for a tin to fill with mud. Clever girl. No. But I don't think we can be making any mud pies today. No, said Granny. I wanted to actually make a mud pie. It's a heavy one. Granny had lots of exciting things round her house. Granny says that everything tells a story. I saw a big knife. What's that, Granny? Granny said, that was Great Grandad's knife. Can I see, I said. No, said Granny, mustn't touch. Granny had a big glass bottle. When you look through the glass, it made everything move and bend. Careful, darling. No, no. When I tried to touch the bottle, Granny said no. Granny said no a lot. Granny has a staircase in her house. I love to run up and down Granny's staircase. No, Tig. Don't run up and down the stairs, dear. I don't want you to fall. 
No running on the stairs. Granny, no, no. Hey, Tig, Granny doesn't just say no. She says yes, too. But there'd be no fun to say yes if Granny didn't sometimes say no. And Granny's nose keeps you safe. No to spilling hot tea. No to touching sharp knives. No to running and falling down the stairs. So try thinking of all the things to do that will let Granny say yes. Yes to playing with your toys. Yes to asking for stories. Yes to showing you the treasure box. Come on! Hey and Tig, why don't you tell Granny how much you love her too? Yes, I thought. I love my Granny. I'm going to do things so Granny can say yes. Love you, Granny. I love Aww. you, Granny. <laughs> Tig, darling, I love you too. <laughs> can I look at the treasure box? Of course you can. Yes, said Granny. Can I put the jewels on? Yes, said Granny. Ooh. Granny so woolly. <gasps> oh, oh my it's goodness. It's only a toy spy. <sighs> but you can cuddle woolly, yes. I want to find a ring. And I love woolly. The dog. When I was little, my Granny got a new dog. I went to visit my granny and her new dog with my daddy. Wooly came too. In the park, on the way to granny, we saw lots of dogs. I wanted to play with the dogs. Can we play with the dogs? No, we don't know the dogs. Daddy said no. He said we should leave the dogs we don't know alone. I had fun just watching the dogs. Granny's dog was called Herbie. Hello! You come and see. I asked to see Herbie. It's Herbie. It's He's in the kitchen having breakfast. Granny said we should leave Herbie alone when he was eating. We just watch. Daddy was looking in a cupboard. Daddy was trying to find a dog bed for Herbie to sleep in. Daddy found his old drum set. I made lots of noise on Daddy's drums. Then I heard another noise. Shh, Tig. Herbie doesn't like the noise. Herbie was barking in a rage. I didn't like Herbie barking. Daddy found his old space hopper. The hopper was fun. I bounced around the garden. Come on, Herbie. Let's see what's happening. Come on. I bounced up to Herbie. Herbie barked. Herbie looked scary. I didn't like Herbie. Listen, Tig, I think I'd better take him back inside. He's getting too excited. Granny took Herbie back inside. Here's one bed for Herbie. Daddy found a bed for Herbie. Do you want to come for a walk with Herbie? No. No, I said. I didn't like dogs. OK. Hey, Tig, you don't like Herbie because you don't know Herbie. Ruff. You need to get to know Herbie in just the same way Herbie needs to get to know you. Ruff. So what does Herbie like and what does Herbie not like? Granny says Herbie likes to eat in peace. Ruff. When you did your drumming, you found out that Herbie doesn't like loud bangs. When you bounced up to Herbie on the space hopper, you found out that Herbie gets frightened easily. He's like most dogs. And Herbie's barking, ruff, is his way of telling you what he's feeling. Ruff, ruff, woof, woof. So when you meet Herbie again, be very quiet and still. 
don't touch Herbie until Granny says you can. That way you'll get to know Herbie. Yes, I thought. I want to get to know Herbie. I want to like Herbie. Uh, can I see Herbie? Yeah, come on. I'll be very quiet. What a great girl. Granny was getting Herbie ready for his walk. I was very quiet and still. That's a good girl. Granny said I could stroke Herbie gently. That's it. Now, do you want to take him out? Take Herbie to the park. We took Herbie to the park. The I like getting to know Herbie. Got Herbie tank. Yay! Here he goes. Well done. <laughs> Come and give us it. Oh! I'm not sure if he likes my toy spider yet. It's only my toy spider. I like Herbie. And I love Willy. Bus ride. When I was little, my daddy took me to fly my kite. Is that the bus? Wait for the door to open. We went on a bus. The bus ride was fun. Can we get a two to the park, please? Daddy gave me the ticket to hold. Thank you. Well, we came through. We sat on the chair. And Willie looked out of the window. When we got to a hilly bit, Daddy pressed the bell and the bus stopped. Bye bye. Thank you. Daddy said thank you. That's a good girl. What a good girl you are, too. I said bye. thank you and bye bye. Whoosh! Up on the hill, Daddy and me flew my kite. He flew my kite in lots of different ways. Sometimes I ran, sometimes Daddy ran, sometimes we both ran. After flying the kite, I was tired. We waited for the bus home. When the bus arrived, a man took so long, I ran in front of him. Take, said Daddy, wait your turn. Uh, two, please. I took the ticket. Take, said Daddy. Don't snatch. Sorry. Shh, said Daddy. Sit down, said Daddy. No feet on the seat. Daddy was getting really grumpy. A lady kept staring at me. I didn't like the lady staring at me. Take, don't be so rude. I was tired and bored. Tank. Daddy was grumpy. Just in front of me was the bus bell. Hmm, I thought. Tank, did you press the bell? Tank, no! Said Daddy. Daddy was cross. Who rang the bell? It, it was us. We're, we're just coming. Come on, we're not going to have to go off the bus now. Get Wooly. Sorry, driver. Thank you, said Daddy to the driver. We're going to have to walk home. But I'm tired. Well, we'll have to wait for the next bus, OK? Horrid, Daddy. Just sit on that. Put your wee bottom on that, OK? OK. I was tired. Hey, Tig, I know you feel tired, but Daddy's not horrid. Daddy's tired too. But when Daddy's tired, he still says thank you to the bus driver. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't throw his bus ticket all over the bus. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't make a face to strangers. Just because you're tired doesn't mean you stop caring. When you feel tired, you can still be nice to people and make sure that whatever you do doesn't upset them. Ting! Hey and Tig, you pressed the bus bell, not Daddy. And that's why you're waiting for another bus. Daddy cares about you, and you care about Daddy. So tell him. Go for it, Tig. Yes, I thought. I love my Daddy. I said sorry to Daddy. Sorry, Dad. Oh, thank you, Tig. That's OK. 
Come on, Tyke. When the next bus came, I said thank you to the bus driver. Thank you. Aw, thanks, driver. When a lady smiled at me, I smiled at her. I showed her Willy. It's only a toy spider. I like smiles. I like being me. I love Willy. Choosing. When I was little, I went to buy some clothes with my mummy. Willy came too. I can see some lovely dresses in here. Mummy said I needed a new dress and a new pair of shoes. At the dress shop, there were lots of dresses to choose from. I chose a sparkly dress. Mummy said it was very pretty for a party. But it's more pretty for a party? Mummy said I need a dress for every day to play in. Mummy showed me a red dress with pockets. I tried my new red dress. Yes, I said. I liked my new red dress. I like choosing. The next shop that we went to had a lift made of glass. I can see some pretty dresses. It was like flying. At the top of the lift we met Daddy. Hi Tig, a lovely new dress. Daddy liked my new dress. Okay then, do a fashion show. Uh -huh. Daddy bought new clothes too. Yes. You were quick choosing, said Mummy. You were very quick choosing all of that. Yeah, the man in the shop helped me. It was easy. Daddy said the man in the shop helped him choose. Let's go get the shoes. See you later. Bye. Here we are. Ooh, look at, at the shoe shop. They had lots of shoes. Hi there. Hi. I liked all of the shoes. So if you want to pop your foot in. The lady had a special measuring machine for feet. The lady said my feet were growing. I couldn't see them growing. The lady said, what colour shoes do you like? Blue, I said. Then I saw a red shoe. I want the red shoe, I said. I tried on the red shoe. So they both fit, but what ones do you like? Which shoe do you like, said the lady. Red and blue. You have to choose one colour shoe or the other. I wanted both shoes. One red, one blue. Mummy said, why don't you choose blue shoes to go with your new red dress? Well, why don't you have a wee think? Both, I said. Hey, Tig, choosing can be hard. Do I have this one or do I have that one? Or do I have both? Hmm. One blue shoe and one red shoe looks fun. But when you buy shoes, you buy them in pairs. Two shoes together, two shoes that match, two shoes the same colour. So you have to choose. Two blue shoes or two red shoes. Hmm. Hey, Tig. It's difficult, isn't it? Sometimes when you are choosing, you need a bit of help. Your daddy had the man in the shop to help him choose, but you have your mummy to help you choose. Mummy said blue shoes will look good with your red dress. Well, you like blue and red together, so why not choose the blue shoes for your red dress? Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I like blue and red together. I'll choose the blue shoes to go with my red dress. Good choice. The lady put my old shoes in a box. When the lady saw Willy, she nearly dropped the box. It's only a toy spider. Trying really hard. On my way home, I played no stepping on the pavement cracks in my new blue shoes. I love Willy. Supermarkets. When I was little, 
I went shopping with my mummy to a supermarket. And you'll see and you'll get a really good view. Yeah. What do you think we should get for Daddy? Willie came too. Does he really like chocolate? The supermarket was big. The supermarkets sold everything. Yeah. Ironing boards. Ironing? Ironing boards. Toasters. Televisions. Washing machines. We didn't buy a washing machine. Mummy wanted food. I told Mummy where to find things. Carrots. Carrots. A cabbage. Potatoes. Tomatoes. Onions. A melon. A big melon. That's a heavy one. Oh. Apples. Oranges. Bananas. I'll pop them in the back there. Grapefruit. Two. Two, yeah, let's get two. And a pineapple. The pink ones. The pink ones. I didn't want to be in a trolley seat. Yeah, no, but what are you going to do? Tell me what you're going to do. Stay next to you. Stay next to me all the time, good girl. Mummy said to keep close and hold onto the trolley. <laughs> Can you manage? I helped Mummy put things into the trolley. Milk. Mummy pushed the trolley. That's lots and lots of toys. I saw a fire engine. The fire engine had a ladder on top. I picked up the fire engine to show Mummy. When I looked, Mummy wasn't there. Tag. I ran down all the shelves and looked round the corner. Mummy wasn't there. Where was Mummy? I looked down some more shelves and some more shelves. No Mummy. I thought Mummy had left me. Mum, where are you? I thought I was all by myself. Then I saw Willie. Hi, I've lost my daughter. We're just in the toy section. Willie hadn't left me. Hey, Tig, Mummy hasn't left you, and Mummy hasn't run away. Mummy will be looking for you right now. Mummy loves you. Mummy will be just as worried as you are. You've just lost each other for a moment, that's all. When you ran up that way, Mummy was just behind you. <laughs> but when you turned the corner, Mummy didn't know which way you'd gone. You both keep moving around and missing each other. What a laugh! So the best thing for you to do is stay in one spot, here by the fire engines and me. Mummy will tell the store people and they will find you in no time. So we'll stay here and Mummy will come round the corner any minute. I waited in the one place. <laughs> Tag. And Mummy came round the corner. <laughs> I was so happy to see Mummy. Very much. Willie had a ride. The man was surprised to see Willie. <gasps> I thought I was going to find Right. I love my mummy. I love Willie! The hospital. When I was little, my daddy hurt himself and went to hospital. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Mummy went to see daddy. So I played with Angel. Willie came too. Angel and me played dressing up. I put on a crown. Angel wheeled me around in my carriage. At night time, Daddy wasn't better. I slept in Mummy's bed. I wanted to see my Daddy. Me, when Daddy pulled me up. I liked the picture of Daddy lifting me up to touch the sky. 
Mummy took me to see Daddy in the hospital. What's that, Mum? That's an ambulance. I like the hospital. The hospital was big. The hospital was busy. We squirted smelly stuff on our hands. Mummy said that in the hospital, everything had to be clean. Don't forget, Willie. There were lots of busy people. It was nearly lunchtime, but people were still in bed. What are those people doing, Mummy? They're all getting better. Mummy said the people were getting better. They didn't look very better to me. Some people were wheeled around in their beds, looking for their pajamas, I thought. Daddy had a special room he lived in. Oh, hi. We're done now, so you can go in and see him. I wanted to see Daddy. I looked in the door. There was a man in the bed with a towel on his head. Hi there, Tig. He looks like a puppet with strings. Go and say hello to Daddy, Tig. No, I said. That's not my Daddy. Hey, Tig. Hospitals are funny places, all topsy-turvy. They can make you feel all topsy-turvy too. Daddy might not look like Daddy, but Daddy is still Daddy. Daddy looks different, that's all. Daddy hurt his leg, so he's wearing a plaster on his leg to make it better. But he's still Daddy. Daddy hurt his head, so he's wearing a bandage to make his head better. But he's still Daddy. Whee! Daddy looks like a puppet with tubes and things. Diddly doo doo, diddly doo. <laughs> but they are all there to make him better. You look different at angels when you dressed up like a king. Daddy's dressed up like a king too. So hey, Tig, have fun with Daddy now he's a king with his crown and his own royal carriage. Wee! And then one day, Daddy will be all better and lift you up to touch the sky again. Yes, I thought. I want to see my Daddy with his white bandage crown and his puppet strings. Right. I'll tell you the funny story about what happened. Daddy told me the funny story of why he was in the hospital. <laughs> he tripped over running for a bus. Silly Daddy hadn't tied his laces. The blue nurse came in and found Willie on the bed. It's only a toy spider. <laughs> I like hospitals. I love my Daddy. And I love Willie. Sleepover. When I was little, I went to stay with my friend Angel. Mummy said, anytime you want to come home, just tell Angel's mum. See you tomorrow. No, I said, I want to stay the whole night at Angel's. I'm sleeping in Angel's room. I put my pyjamas next to Angel's pyjamas. Look what I'm wearing today. Angel showed me my bed. It was very tiny. Angel said it was a magic bed. I can't sleep there. It's a magic bed. Then we went out to play. Angel's toys were different to my toys. Angel showed me how to hula hoop. At tea time, Angel's mummy made me my favourites. Fish fingers! We sat and climb up chairs in the kitchen. Angel's kitchen was different from my kitchen. I liked Angel's kitchen. <laughs> oh, 
finished. After tea, we played with Angel's dolls. Angel's dolls were different to my dolls. Ready for bed, said Angel. Angel and me had a bath together. After bath, we cleaned our teeth. Angel's mummy helped me clean my teeth. I liked Angel's mummy. When we went into Angel's room, magic! Ping! My tiny bed was big. I could see Angel in her bed. Angel's mummy kissed me and Angel. Night-night. Night-night. Angel and me chattered. Angel stopped chattering. The room was quiet. I looked at Angel. Angel was asleep. I want my mummy, I heard my voice say. I looked outside. Angel's mummy was watching television. I felt sad. Mummy might miss me. I wanted mummy to kiss me night night. Hey Tig, feeling sad shows how much you love mummy. Mummy will miss you too. But mummy wants you to have a big adventure. Mummy wants to have the fun of giving you a big, big hug when you come home again. Mummy wants to have the fun of hearing all about your time away. But Tig, you can go home whenever you want. Angel's mummy won't mind and mummy won't mind. So do you want to go home? Oh dear, you're not sure, are you? Hmm. So just for now, pop back into bed and count up how many kisses your mummy gives you every day. Then count up how many kisses you give to your mummy every day. Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I won't go home yet. So I counted how many times mummy kissed me and I... I woke up. It was daytime. I had slept all night at Angel's Angel, house. Angel, wake up. Angel, wake up. Ah! It's only a toy spider. I like staying the night with Angel. I love Willie. I'll tell you what, why don't Busy. I get my stuff done and then I'll meet you at the end When I was little, my mummy and daddy had a very busy day. Me and Wooly had a busy day too. I was busy doing my jigsaw. Mummy and Daddy were busy talking. Talk, talk, talk. Off we go. But my jigsaw, I said. Rush, rush, rush. We got into the car. Where's Wooly? Where's Wooly? Daddy stopped the car. At least the brakes work, said Mummy. Mummy picked up Willy. Willy was just doing your jigsaw. Willy was trying to do the jigsaw. So was I. Daddy drove to the garage. See you later. Mummy rushed off. We went into a room with a window. We saw the car go up into the air. A man came to talk to Daddy. Daddy's busy. In a minute, said Daddy. Talk, talk, talk. Whiz! The wheels came off the car. The wheels went back on the car. Whiz! Hooray! The wheels worked. Daddy drove us to the printers. Hi there. Hi there. I'm supposed to be meeting my wife here. Right. Talk, talk, talk. For a presentation document. What are you talking about, Daddy? In a minute, said Daddy. Mummy came through the door. Oh, hi. Mummy. Hiya. Mummy! Daddy left to go to work. Bye. I need to get... Talk, talk, talk. ...size print scan to PDF and about... Mummy, what are you talking about? Yeah, Just in a minute, Ted. Mummy's busy. 
a minute, said Mummy. Do you want to do some drawing for me? Mummy gave me some drawing. Come on, here we go. One, two, three. Whee! Oh, sorry about that. That's okay. So. I drew a sun. Look, Mummy, a sun. Just in a minute, Tig. Mummy's busy. In a minute, said Mummy. Talk, talk, talk. I didn't like Mummy always busy. Hey, Tig. It's not nice when no one listens to you. It's not nice when no one looks at your pictures. But Tig, Mummy and Daddy are having a busy day. You need to let them be busy. When Mummy and Daddy are busy, you need to be busy too. You've done one drawing, so why not do some more drawing? Why not make your very own jigsaw? Well, you've got one piece of your jigsaw, a sun. Here's another piece. What's that, do you think? A roof. For a house. There's one half of your jigsaw. All you've got to do now is finish off the other half. What are you going to put under the sun? Tig. Yes, Tig. A picture of you would look great there. Go for it, Tig. Get busy. Yes, I thought. I can be busy too. Oh, well done, Tig. You've been so busy. You've done a jigsaw. The printer man made another of my jigsaws for Daddy. When the printer man saw Willy, he made a face. Ah! It's only a toy spider. I like Mummy and Daddy being busy. I like being busy too. I love Willy. Big stumps. Look, what's that big red white thing? When I was little, I went on a holiday. A we went on a boat to the holiday. I liked the boat. Willie liked the boat too. At the holiday, we lived in a caravan. The caravan was like a little house. My friend Angel and my friend Timmy were on the holiday too. There were lots and lots to do at the holiday. There was a swimming pool with a bridge. Every day there was showtime. Hey. Mr. Tonka played the piano. Lady. Daddy was funny and said nonsense. For your delectation. Mummy did a poem about a cat. The owl and the pussycat went to see. They I like showtime. I made two puppets. Bernard and Bumpy. Bernard and Bumpy danced. <laughs> Everyone laughed. There was a big room with lots of games. Mummy and Daddy played a funny game called badminton. They hit a feathery thing. I wanted to hit it too. I couldn't hit the feathery thing. OK, you ready, Tig? Here we go. Oh. Oh. It's cross. Tig. Daddy looked cross too. Angel did skipping. I wanted to skip like Angel. I couldn't skip like Angel. I was cross. Angel looked cross too. Timmy played another game, table tennis. I couldn't hit the ball. I was cross. Timmy looked cross too. Hi, Ted. You OK? No. I was cross. I was making everyone else cross too. Hey Tig, there's nothing wrong with feeling cross. 
You're just feeling cross because you can't do some of the things other people can do. Skipping like angel. Skip, skip, skibbity woo. Playing the badminton game like mummy and daddy. Pip, pop, pip, pop, pip, pop. Playing table tennis like Timmy. Ping pong, ping pong, pingity pong. But one day, when you're older, you'll be able to do all those things and lots more. But Tig, there's lots of things you can do now. You can make people laugh with your puppet shows. Hello, I'm Bernard. And I'm Bumpy. Hey Tig, go and get rid of your cross feelings so they don't hurt anyone else. Go and have a good stomp. Then have fun making everyone laugh. <laughs> yes, I thought. I don't want to make anyone else cross. I shall have a stomp. I stomped into the ball pool till I was laughing again. <laughs> At showtime, I made everyone laugh with my stompy dance. When Mr. Tonka saw Willy, he got a fright. I saw the toy spider. I like making people laugh. I love Willy. The haircuts. When I was little, my hair grew long. Who's that? I liked my hair long. One day, my mummy took me for a ride on a bus with no roof. On the bus we saw lots of things. We saw a big crane. <gasps> oh wow, take look, look. An aeroplane landed on the water. Some things I didn't see. I just saw my hair. That night, mummy brushed my hair. Oh my it was all tangly. So You're gonna have to get your hair trimmed soon. The next day, Mummy and Daddy took me to see a play. Mummy tied my hair in bunches. You want to be able to see the play, said Mummy. Willie came too. There was a funny lady. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, nursey. The funny lady had bunches, just like mine. Do you like my bunches? You do? You've got bunches like mine, haven't you? What's your name? Tig. Tig. That's a lovely name. Well, this little ditty is especially for you. One bunch, two bunch, kiss my cheeks, so one bunch. Funny lady sang a song all about my bunches. I'm happy with my bunches, my bonny, bonny bunches. And when I skip and hop and flounce, my bonny bunches bob and bounce. I'm happy with my bunches, my bonny, bonny bunches. And when I skip and hop and flounce, my bonny bunches bob and bounce. At night, Mummy brushed my bunches away. Once you get a wee trim, you won't have all these tangles at the bottom here, will you? The next day, Mummy took me to the hairdresser. Who's next? Said the hairdresser. Me. You coming over? Have a seat. I jumped into the seat. The hairdresser picked up a big pair of scissors. Uh, no, I want my bunchies. I didn't like the scissors. I wanted my bunchies. Do you want to come over, Brendan? I didn't want my hair cut. Hey Tig, those scissors might look a bit scary, but don't worry, cutting hair doesn't hurt. Snip, snip, snippity snip. Look at Brendan. Brendan doesn't mind having his hair cut. He loves it. Snip, snip, snippity snip. And look at the hairdresser. He knows just how to use the scissors so they're safe. Tig, I know how you feel about your bunches. But having your hair cut doesn't mean you can't have bunches again. 
They might be a little smaller, that's all. But hey, having your hair cut means no more hair in your eyes. Having your hair cut means less tangles. Having your hair cut makes you feel all shiny and new. Oh, I'm happy with my haircut, my happy, happy haircut. Go for it, Tig. Get your haircut. You'll love it. Yes, I thought. I want to be all shiny and new. Nothing to worry about. I'll have my hair cut. Snap, snap, snap. No more hair in my eyes. Snap, snap, snap. No more tangles. I'm happy with my haircut. My happy, happy haircut. Are you happy with that? Yes. When the hairdresser saw Willy, he wasn't happy. What's that? Only a toy side. Oh. I like having my hair cut. I love Willy. One step at a time. When I was little, my daddy took me to buy some eggs. Hi, Dada. This is Willy. Oh, I love Willy. We didn't go to the shops. We went a long, long way away to the country. Willy. Go and get Willy. Willy came too. In the country, we went through a gate. We walked through some long grass. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? We walked down a long, long lane. The long, long lane was very smelly. Stinky. What's that smell, Daddy? I think it's a cow. I wanted to see the cow. I've never seen a real cow before. I think the cows are busy. Busy mooing, I said. At the end of the lane, we saw a scarecrow. Scarecrow! Oh, what's he missing? Big hat. He put the scarecrow's hat on. Whoa, look at that hat. What do you think? Look. Oh, Let's put him on his shoulder. Whoa. I really like the scarecrow. <laughs> I want to see the cow. The no, we need to go and get eggs first. Daddy said no, we had to get the eggs. We came to a farm. Yeah, you could do the knock. You're really I knocked on the door. <gasps> well done. A giggly farmer opened the door. Hello. Hello. I just wanted to get the eggs just for me. You come to get some eggs? Yeah, we'd better go and see the chickens then. OK. Come on, come on. The giggly farmer took us to see the chickens. I wanted to see the cow. The chicken laid some eggs for me and Daddy. We put them into a box. I picked them up and counted them. That was good, wasn't it? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's a pleasure. Oh, there you go. Bye bye, Farmer Giggly. The long, long lane was very smelly. Come on, Tig. I want to see the cow. Moo! Mm. Oh, what's that? A big animal was looking at us. I don't like the big animal. There's nothing to be scared of. It's all right. It's only a cow, said Daddy. Don't like cows. Too big. Come on. It's quite safe. It's behind a gate. Not past the cow, I said. Come on, we need to get home. No. Nope. Why not try it one step at a time? Wooly whispered. Tig, one step at a time, it's easy. OK, you go. <laughs> Tig, one step at a time, like grandmother's footsteps. Come on! Creep up on me! Saw you! Come on! Saw you again! Gotcha. Oh, well done, 
amazing. That was brilliant. You won't pass the cow. You passed the cow, he said. Should we show the cow, Willie? <laughs> Look, Willie. Funny cow. Silly cow. It's only my toy spider. Uh, Bye. Thanks. Come on then. Home now, said Daddy. Yeah. Come on then. I like cows. And I love Willie. Hey, Chig. <laughs> I love Willie.